Hello, everybody on the YouTube channels. This is Five for Talking, RLG2. We're here for a new episode, uh, season four, 2021 NHL season. We're going to be doing a uh, tier list of the teams ranking them in the positions that we think that they are. So from, we'll show you the list right now. So it will be from Stanley Cup champion, elite, average but promising, meh, no chance, and first overall pick. All right, so uh, let's go back over here and let me move ourselves. Okay, and we're going to jump in here. Caps is going to take it away. I'm here with Caps, by the way. I don't know if I said that, but he's a, he's usually a special guest of my shows. Definitely not. He's not part of them. He's just my guest. <laughs> okay, let's go, man. Take us take us off. You pick a team. Want to pick Jets? Uh, Matt. No. Okay, no. No, no, no. I'm going to say average, but promising. Yeah, I, because... I won't keep... Okay, go, you go. No, you no, go. But, uh, uh, it all depends on uh, how their goalie is, is playing. The other thing is that they got a lot of weapons in the forward position. I, I did not even realize that. I totally forgot about Peter Stancy coming back to the Jets playing on the second line with Patrick Liney. And, like, he had some pretty good depth. Um, so I, I'm going to put averaging, average, averaging, average, but promising. Average, but promising. Okay. This is my only argument to that. And I'm okay with it being there. Um, is that I don't know. They don't really look promising. I think they are what they are. I don't think there's a potential there to be more than what they are. And I think they are average. I just don't see them as, and, and I might be looking at that the wrong way as like potential, type of st way, but uh, I'm okay with that. I think that's fine. Yep. Next. Uh, they're These elite. guys. They're elite. Uh, do you think so? I, I really do. Uh, okay, no, actually, you know what? Let's make an argument here for this. I don't think they have the goaltending anymore. I mean, okay. yeah, I, I don't think Samsonov is bad, but I think without Holpe, you've limited yourself to one option, especially now that Lundqvist isn't playing. And even if he was, he's old as hell. But it even looked like Holpe was on a bit of a decline too a little he bit. He was. Okay, yeah. but they are definitely a team that's going to be contending. So I can live with elite. Okay, I, I, I'll agree with you on this. And I, there's only one thing I just want to bring up is like I was looking at different videos and um, with their own sort of tier rankings. And a lot of people are so-called analysts are saying that the capitals are on a decline and that they have no chance of them being a contender this year and beyond. I don't know about beyond, be going through, yeah. but I think be going through this a rebuild year, soon is what they're trying to say. I think this year they do for sure. <clears throat> okay. Next. Uh Stanley Cup champ. You wow. can argue me down. I, I say that. If you think it's just a lead, I, I can live with it. But I'll, I'll go with what you're saying. I mean, if you uh, feel strongly about this, then I'll, I'll go with that. I still think that I think they're going to be elite. I think, uh, yeah, it's possible. You know. Yeah. For me, there's about there's like two or three teams that belong in that spot. Yeah. Okay. All okay. right, these guys. Um. Honestly, okay. Are, what are we talking about here? Like a chance at winning the cup? Because if it is, then no chance. How you think they're gonna do this year? I think they'll be. What okay. do you think of the team? I think they're fine. I think they're a ninth place team, or an or a luckily a lucky eighth place team. I think they can go on runs, and even if – I don't see anything on their team that tells me this team is ready to win. They don't have any superstars. They don't have any elite defensemen. Like, Quinn Hughes is good, but he's not there yet. And goaltending-wise, we've yet to see if Holpe's going to come back to his original self or whatever the other guy's name is, Demko, is going to be as they legit as everyone thinks. Yeah, they won one game. Okay. Didn't they lose to Edmonton the next game? Yes, that's true. Did did Hobie play that game or, or no? I, no? I wasn't sure. No, no, he sat out. How about how about we is okay. this all right? I can live with that. All I right. can 
Um, here we go. They're elite, but are they going to if, – if I'm basing it off just the team alone, they're elite. Do I think that they're going to be – win the Stanley Cup? No. I can – I could live with average but promising or elite, but there's just based on the roster, I can't say that they're mad. Um, you know, I'm, I'm probably one of the biggest, huge, huge Leaf fan, probably a little over obsessive with them, but I honestly thought that this year was going to be their, their year because of the experience that they're bringing in and the leadership and all that stuff. And then they just pissed me off last night the way they played against Ottawa, which should never have happened, in my opinion. But they allowed it, and that's what bugs me the most, is that they, they still stoop to that kind of level. I um, think that's that's such a fair observation. <clears throat> but I, I will keep it an elite because they have the potential. You know what I mean? They have the potential to do it. But, uh, yeah, it's just these some of these things are just – Bug me. All right, these guys. I, I think we're both going to agree with it. I think they're Stanley Cup champ. Oh. Kucherov think, is out, right? I think even without Kucherov, they're still Stanley Cup championship material. Then they lose someone else. I'm not sure. Honestly, well, I don't they remember. Lost Bogosian, but that's not really too much. Um, Sergachev, I think, moved up a bit in the lineup. Uh, he got they better. They still got enough depth. Yeah. <clears throat> I think he got better. St. Louis. Um, I honestly, okay, look, I really want to make an argument for them to be Stanley Cup champ again, but I, I'm i more comfortable just saying that they're elite. Like, they actually got better. They got Hoffman, they got uh, Tori Krug, and they got another defenseman that eludes me at this moment. <clears throat> but then they lose one of their best defensemen? <laughs> yeah, but I think okay. Uh, you want me to look up who it is? I feel like it's Hamannik. I forgot. I mean, they lost. Uh, who did they lose to to the Vegas Golden Knights? Oh my God, Petrangelo. Yeah, Petrangelo. Yeah, but they uh, gained but, back two really good defensemen that I think uh, will make up for one guy. But they lost um, Jake Allen as well. Yeah, but they don't need Jake Allen. Yeah, but Bennington is like off and on. Like he's either really on or like. So <laughs> he's either really on or he's like a little bit on. Well, okay, you know. I mean, I, I feel like I, I feel like they, the way <clears throat> that they're playing, especially too, they they looked really impressive in the the first two. So okay, so I got a little ahead of myself. Uh, San Jose, um, no chance. I I think the team overall is Matt, but if we're talking realistically where they belong, they don't have a chance. Okay. Pittsburgh is okay. I'm gonna say elite. I do think that they could win the cup, but I don't think that they have the defense to do it or the goaltending. Jari looks like absolute garbage in those first games. I'll leave him there. <clears throat> Philadelphia, it could. This is a tough one, man. I think they could Just win. Based the on cup. what they did in the playoffs last year, I think that they could win the cup. That's uh okay. Make an argument with me of where you think they should be, because they're definitely not average. I'll put an elite because uh, I don't think they're Stanley Cup champs. I, I think, think okay of those teams right now that are in elite, I would say it goes Philadelphia, St. Louis. Washington, Pittsburgh, Toronto. Realistically, that's a, that's a different ranking. Yeah, but I'm just saying, like they they're the best team, maybe of those elite teams. All right. Uh, okay. Well, they are average and promising, but they're not going to win a cup. Uh, I really like the way they played yesterday. I, I don't want to say there is no chance, though. Let's be honest. All right. How about we meet in the uh, in the middle? That's fair, I guess. I do think that they're better than San Jose. Uh, honestly, I don't know anymore. I like with the Rangers, I could have, I could have put them in elite just from looking at the pay on paper, but like they're not. I don't know. I, they look mad right now. What? What? What is it? What? What do you see? What? What happened? 
I don't think anybody showed up. I, I think they put, they banked a lot. They, they kind of not in as badly, but they banked heavily on young goaltenders. Not that they're bad. They're not playing up to what they should be. They banked really heavily on offensive talent like the Leafs did. And now they don't really have anyone to play on the other side. Like they have a, a they have a, probably a better two way team than the Leafs, but they're very offense heavy and they're very young. I mean, I, I would compare them to a Ottawa, but a better team. I would say they're average. They're because the, and they're better than Winnipeg and Vancouver. All right. How about average but promising? Yeah, I, I can live with that because I think they're better than both of those teams that we put there. All right. The Islanders are Stanley Cup champions. No, I would put elite. I think that they, in the Eastern Conference, other than Tampa Bay, they have the best shot to win. I I think elite because I still think Tampa is better than them. <clears throat> um, I think elite. Okay, I'll take it. I'm not going to argue that. I mean, at least you didn't say anything the, less. You can't that. put like multiple, like like 10, like five teams in the Stanley Cup champions. I mean, yes, but I'm going to say Colorado is Stanley Cup champions. I'm just prefacing that now. Oh my. Time. So my. First overall but pick. But we can also like rearrange it afterwards if anything. First overall pick. I don't I don't see anything there. Nashville is average but promising. I mean, we're we're getting pretty good agreement levels here. I honestly want to say elite, but on paper I can't make that argument. Doesn't matter. They're still a fantastic team. Team. Good point. And they do have a top three goalie. Um, I would well, say I'll go with what you said. No, no, you you pick this one, and I'll live with it because I'm not upset as long as they're not Stanley Cup champs. Okay, I can live with that. Um, the Wild are way better than we thought they were. Uh, I never realized how decent their roster is. I'm gonna say Matt. No chance. No, you know what? They're a first overall contender. Um, no chance. I, I don't, you don't even think they got better. No, I think they got worse. They lost more pieces than they gained. Okay. Um, the Oilers are elite. I mean, you can make a lot of arguments for the Oilers. I'll go with that, man. First overall pick. Um, uh, this is hard because I want to say elite, but I just don't know. Did they uh, move any pieces? Did they gain any pieces? They kind of stayed the same. They essentially, <clears throat> they essentially stayed the same, and they did make it to the finals. That's That's the thing. That's the thing. I mean, I'll go with what you're saying. I'll, I'll, I'm cool with it. Okay, they don't have Sagan until I think March, and they right now missed all of their games because of COVID. Yeah, but they're gonna make up for it now. Okay, well, uh, uh, you elite. I think Dallas is good. Um. Mm. I'm going to say average, but promising. Yeah, 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 yeah. It just sucks with what's going on with uh, Pierre-Luc Dubois. Um, I mean, but he's still buying in, so that's good. Well, uh, I mean, he got that new contract, and I'm pretty sure that he's doing what he needs to do to look appealing to other teams who may want to inquire in the future. Um, but, yeah... It's just gonna, we're gonna have to see how it get how it plays out with him and Tortorella. That's fair. Uh, uh, Stanley Cup champions. Um, you know what? What do you think? Honestly, like super, super seriously, I think they're a first overall pick. Um, and it's not because they're. I don't think they're better than those three teams that are down there. It's because I just don't think they care anymore. Like, they seem very disgruntled as a unit. Okay. Uh, and I feel like there's big change coming there, and they're going to tank. They're elite. <clears throat> Man, 
God, I'm running out of elite. <laughs> uh, well, that's good because we don't. I don't think we have any more. Maybe <laughs> color. Uh, Calgary is meh. If you think that I'm going to say average but promising. Okay, if you can argue that, I will accept it. Um, all, it all depends on uh, Markstrom. Uh, if he stays hot, and they can ride that goalie for for a long period of time, that that'll put him up in in a, you know possibly elite at some point. Okay, this is this is tough for me. Um, With they're the not pieces? elite. They're not elite. I think paper wise, I agree with you. I think on paper they could be <clears throat> argued for elite. I think they're average but promising. I mean. Average but promising, I think, is a tier that we can agree is uh, – it's more based on – they could sneakily make it all the way to the finals, but they're probably not going to beat that team that they face there. And Elite has a shot at winning a cup. Stanley Cup champs are almost locks. I think Boston is just Elite. Um. I think they're going to go on a decline very, very soon. I think after this season, it's all over for them. Arizona is no chance. I don't think they're bad enough to be the worst, but they're in a weird position where their own players don't even want to play for them. The Ducks are a first overall pick. I think... I think there's just no chance. I don't know. But, yeah, I'll I'll go with that. That's fine. I I think those five teams are going to battle for a first pick. I think the no-chancers are actually going to try but they're not going to make it anywhere. And then they're going to be, have the difficulty of now not getting a top five pick. The Met teams are, are, are currently in a, a shifting process of rebuilding, which we see the average well promising teams have already started their new roster looks and they're not there yet. The elite teams have what they have and they're all going to explode soon because of salary cap. And the Stanley cup champs are pretty locked in for the next couple of years, I think. For me, in the East, I would argue the second best team in the East is the Islanders. For overall team, I think they're the next best team. But I'm okay with only putting three people as the Stanley Cup champs. Are you satisfied with this tier ranking? Mm. I honestly want to make an argument that Pittsburgh should be an average of promising. But I don't know if I can just because of Sidney Crosby. And Kenny Malkin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I do think the rate the the Canucks are not that good, <clears throat> and I do think that Calgary is not that good. But I not Everybody, all upset. those teams are like in for the taking. You know, that's going to be a hard division. Yeah, uh, it's going to be hard because it's already showing like. Ottawa versus Toronto after after the first three it gets already rough after the first three games I think there's going to be some serious like fights like I really really do I think the fighting is going to get crazy um, I really like that game in terms of seeing what was there I I wrote it you saw it Jason Spezza is a hockey player. He went out there, he gave 110% both games. He hit, he won face-offs, he dug, he he did everything the team needed. He didn't back down from anybody. Wayne Simmons did the same thing. Well, let's save it for the uh, leaf but, talk. Yeah, yeah, but I, I just think that it's hard to make that – it's hard for me to believe that the Leafs are even elite at this point, but I can't argue with their team on paper. Uh, it's two games in. I mean – Ottawa looks good. All I'm right. cool with this. That's the tier Take list. a thumbnail of this, man. Take a little. <laughs> yeah, I absolutely will. Will not Um, so that's it. Take a look at it. Enjoy it. That's all we have here. Thank you for watching. If you guys want to let us know your top five teams of what you think will be the top five, let us know in the comments. And uh, like, comment, subscribe. Do all that good stuff.